Now, again, I'm not a, I'm not a master goal setter or anything like that. This is something that I'm, I'm looking at more and more in my own personal life because I'm realizing that if you don't have direction for yourself, if you don't have morning visualizations for yourself, if you don't start your day off with the right direction, uh, with the right thought pattern, uh, you end up reacting to situations uh, versus responding. When you have direction, when you have a destination, when you have targets in your life that you know that you must reach, it makes a difference in your daily activities. It makes, it's going to make a huge difference in your daily activities. I can tell you that. Um, it is the truth. Now, again, this is a work. Um, Self-improvement, self-empowerment, setting goals, achieving goals, planning, all of these things. It, it's, it takes time. It takes work. And... You have to be, you know, why, again, you have to look at the goals, that, you know, why would you want to engage in doing these kinds of activities, visualization, a few minutes every day, especially in the morning until it becomes a part of you. Why would you want to do that? Obviously, your goal has to move you. Your goal has to, your goal has to be something that you desperately, desperately want or need, must have. And truly only you know what, what, what goals are most important for you. Even right now in your life, you've come across this video. Man, I wanted to keep this video shorter, but here it is. It's just, it is what it is. Um, there's a couple more things that I want to bring up. The, uh, as I mentioned, you know, we do, uh, we do achieve goals on autopilot, and that's where we want to get to with the new goals, right? We want to be able to, like, just like when you brush your teeth, you comb your hair, uh, you, uh, whatever you do, you know, on autopilot, you do it every day. You want to be able to have these new habits, visualization, taking morning, morning 10 to 15 minute timeouts to look at your goals, to reflect on the things that you are important to you because whatever you focus on the most, whatever you focus on, whatever you put more of into your mind in front of you, that you're going to begin to move in that direction. Your, your mind will, will become like a, uh, it becomes like a, like a thermostat, right? And in order for you to keep your bearing, the more you expose yourself to these goals, in order for you to keep your bearing, it's like your mind is going to tell you, go in this direction, go in that direction. This is what you need to be doing. And we need to be visiting our goals. We need to be working on ourselves. We need to keep ourselves in what I call a fight mode. Responding versus reacting. It is it is very challenging when you don't have any direction for yourself, especially when you know that you need to make changes. You need to uh, go in a different direction for yourself. Now, um, of course, achieving goals. We've already talked. We've already discussed that planning, going over, setting timeouts for yourself. If you have somebody that can help you to, you know, to Every morning, every morning as much as possible. You've got, you've got different types of goals, obviously, short-range goals, mid-range goals, long-term goals. And I'm not really talking about long-term. I'm talking about more of the short-range goals and maybe the mid-range goals that you need to be thinking about right now. You know, where do you want to be in a couple of months? Where do you want to be in a couple of weeks? You know, what do you want to have accomplished this week? That kind of stuff. So... Writing down in a journal, I'll tell you, is a very, very powerful tool that you can use for goal setting, goal setting because it helps you wake up into direction, steps for your day. Would that help you? If you wrote down steps, if you wrote down goals, if you wrote down um, ideas in different uh practices that can help you achieve these goals would that make a difference in your life <coughs> <coughs> of course it would my friend 
199%. So it would begin to make a difference. I'm asking you to share this video if this video makes sense. If this video makes perfect sense to you, if you've been able to, to get a few notes out of it. And remember to make every day super fantastic, terrific, and over the top in spite of and because of my friend. I will always see you at the top. Peace through strength. I appreciate you from the top of my heart. So share this video, social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, wherever you feel that somebody could take advantage of this video. Maybe get some motivation, some inspiration. I'm going to be working on more of this too, probably on Sunday night, a live power hour right here on my YouTube channel. So please give me a thumbs up, comment below, share the video. If you want to support us financially, $40, $50, bucks, whatever you want to give to this mission. Um, I'm here for your support. I'm here to help you. I do offer coaching for results. I do have a book that I offer through my personal website. And I would ask you, encourage you to subscribe to soldiersofselfmastery.com forward slash happier. Again, the information will be below in the description box area below this video. So thank you. And I hope, I truly hope that I've inspired you to think about your goals, to write some things down and to begin tomorrow morning or even tonight implementing what you know is going to help you, help your family, help your business, help you get to that next place where that next level, that next position in life where you know that you need to be. So with that said, I'll see you on the next one, my friend. Peace.